Hey guys, this is DJ Marius. Welcome to another video tutorial in Cubase. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create and set up a project template. Um, first, what I'm going to do is create a new empty project like before. And what I want to do is turn this empty project into a project template. So first thing I'm going to do is in this uh, blue area over here, right click, select add MIDI track. So I, what I've just added is a MIDI track and uh, the MIDI channel options for this track appear here in, in the left, okay? Uh, next I want to bring up my VST instruments. In order to do that, hit F11. Now we can see a list um, of up to 64 instruments that you can have. So I'm going to left click in the first slot and select Vanguard. Okay, so I've loaded Vanguard into my program. Next, what I want to do is link my Vanguard instrument to my MIDI channel. In order to do that, I go here on this out strip over here, you see this? I left click and in this list, it allows me to select any VSTs that I have currently loaded. Uh, I have only one, so I'm going to go ahead and select Vanguard, but if I had others, they would appear there, okay? And I can select any of them. So I've linked my VST instrument to my MIDI channel now, okay? And, um, yeah, I want to do one more thing before I wrap up this tutorial, and that is in my mixer, to bring up my mixer, you see that where the mouse is on this icon, open track mixer, click there. Here's my mixer. I have my MIDI channel newly added here. I can adjust the volume. Okay, it's all good there. And on the right, it says stereo out. Okay, that is the main channel um, that controls all the instruments. Okay, basically controls all the mix. And what I want to do here is click on this little E icon here, which says edit output channel settings. You see that? click on that and it give uh, and uh, the output channel appears okay the settings for my channel are here uh, and you see these empty slots here i can add effect plugins here that will reflect throughout my entire mix okay and i want to go ahead and add isotope ozone 4 right because i want really really loud and clear sound i'm going to select an, a preset that i usually use and i like um, but you can select any preset, anything will do. I'm gonna go to genre specific mastering. Just scroll down here and select electronic master, excitation and widening, okay? And I'm good to go. Now I can close all these things. So I've loaded up that in my mixer. It will reflect throughout the entire mix. And if I play, on my MIDI keyboard. Okay. Loud and clear. Uh, and what I want to do finally is um, save this as a project template. And in order to do that, in the upper menu, you go to File, Save as Template. And you give it a name, My Template. I'm going to give it my template too, since I already have my template, okay? And that's it. You're good to go. Now if I close this, and I want to open up my template, I can do that. You see my template too appeared here? Okay. And I have everything as before. Isn't that convenient? I have my MIDI track. I have Vanguard loaded there. I hit F11, I can see Vanguard, and I have Isotopozone loaded up in the main channel and reflects throughout the entire mix, and that's what I wanted, right? It's a very convenient way. Um, then you don't have to worry about loading up all the time Ozone. You can just, after you finish your whole production, you can equalize uh, some parameters and that's about it you have everything great sounding 
well that's about this for, that's about it for this video tutorial um, you have learned how to set up and save and create a project template uh, in the next video tutorial I'll be showing you um, the transfer panel what it does the key editor and other useful features uh, in Cubase and what I'm gonna ask you is to practice what I've taught you and see you in the next video tutorial cheers